your profile has another very interesting um, feature that is you're not only a teacher but you're also from a Hispanic background. How, how is this defining your day-to-day -day job as an astronaut and as a scientist? Yeah, so I was born in uh, California. Both of my parents are from uh, Puerto Rico. And, you know, I don't know that I think about it every day that, uh, you know, I am, uh, like it is kind of defining my role at NASA, but I think one of the, uh, the great things about it is that, again, when we're trying to connect with students, it's nice that they can see somebody who is similar to them. And so uh, it's cool going out to classrooms and you see those students that are first generation, which is difficult and there's a lot of you know, difficulties uh, being someone uh, of a minority. And so I want them to see that, hey, don't let that hold you back and, uh, and try to share those experiences. And I think that's what's important when we work with students. And well, the last time you were up there, um, I think some one of the greatest fears of astronauts happened to you. I've heard. <laughs> Which one was that? <laughs> I've heard that astronauts. One of the things they fear the most is that something happens down here, that, and they are not available to help their loved ones. Uh -huh. You were affected by by the hur hurricane, and yes. not only here in Houston, but also. Uh, with your family in Puerto yes. Rico. How, how was that situation for you? It's, how did you handle it? Yeah, it's difficult. So I was in Russia getting ready for launch when Hurricane Harvey um, happened here. And of course my house uh, got damaged and so you're, you're kind of worrying about that. But luckily um, there were a lot of astronauts, a lot of friends that went to my house and helped take care of my house. So that allowed me to focus on my mission and then of course we had uh, Hurricane Maria that uh, hit Puerto Rico and I still have a lot of family there and I think the hardest part was that there was very little communication because there was no power uh, you know the telephone service was down and so of course you worry about your family and when you're in space you can see a hurricane and a hurricane is it, it's very beautiful it looks really nice but you know the damage that it is uh, causing on earth and so it's, um, it's hard because you're, you're so far away, you can see how big it is, and you know the damage that it's doing, and you know your family is there. So it, it was really hard. Now that you're back on Earth, what, what, are you, what are your plans for the future? I'm gonna relax right now. <laughs> so I'm gonna take a little bit of time, but uh, it's, this is a great opportunity for us to go out and talk to the community. So I wanna do uh, some of that. I'll be going to Puerto Rico next month, or actually this month, uh, to go share my experiences over there. So I'd like to do that. And then I think uh, later this year, I'll probably go back to Russia to help support the crews that are in training over there. Can we do a couple of questions in Spanish? Claro que sí. <laughs> Hot in here. <laughs> okay. Eh, ¿Por qué es importante que los estudiantes, los jóvenes, eh, latinos y de las minorías no tengan miedo a acercarse a la ciencia y que puedan soñar también con alcanzar las estrellas. Pues yo creo que uh, es importante porque ellos son el futuro y ellos son muy inteligentes y yo sé que es difícil a veces uh, cuando es um, alguien de color pero hay muchas oportunidades y nosotros necesitamos a ellos porque como yo dije, ellos son el futuro. Entonces hay que encontrar algo que le gusta y seguir en eso. ¿Crees que eh, explorar el espacio, eh, el universo, ir fuera de la Tierra, es eh, una experiencia, la más grande experiencia de aprendizaje de la humanidad? No sé si es el más grande, pero yo creo que es algo importante porque cuando alguien está ahí en el espacio y puede ver el planeta, es una vista increíble y puede, puede ver que somos una persona, somos uh, humanos y tenemos que trabajar um, junto y también cuidar um, el planeta. So, sí, yo creo que uh, me gustaría que todos pudieran ir al espacio para ver el planeta. ¿Cómo crees que debería ser la representación eh, de la humanidad cuando lleguemos a Marte? 
Eso es un sueño mío, pero yo soy demasiado viejo y yo no voy para allá, pero eso es un paso grande uh, en la exploración del universo. Y es el, el, como el uh, siguiente, siguiente, el next paso uh, para explorar. Y eso es lo que um, hacemos como seres humanos.